Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Cheryl. Thank you very much for joining me. If you're new here, hello, welcome. If you're returning here, welcome back. Hi. I just had Justin Diet Coke. I just spilled this a bit, so I don't know if the lid's on correctly. Who knows? But Hello, how are y'all doing? As if you can answer me. I mean you can't answer me, but I can't hear you. So Hello. Um, today I'm doing the MBR for February, which is my might be red, maybe be red. I don't know what you call it. Might be red is what I call it. And that is the TBR of Pile of Possibilities, some people call it, of books that I may read in, <laughs> in February of 2024. So sit back, grab a cup of coffee, cup of tea, maybe a glass of wine, drink of your choice, maybe a snack. Grab a crochet project, a knitting project, whatever you like to do while you watch videos, and let's continue. Let's continue. That's not how I say it. Let's get into it. So, I've got this TBR prompt jar, and we're going to pick, I think we did six last time. Oh, by the way, I'll do a wrap-up. I'm going to be doing wrap-ups every month this year, hopefully, fingers crossed. So, in my wrap-up, I'll tell you whether I read the books I picked last month or not. And um, so we're just going to do the MBR polls for this coming month, which is February. Let's get started. Take the lid off. I don't know why, but I always struggle with these lids. Come on. Come on. There we go. All right. Here we go. Let's look in here, mix it around a bit. MBR prompt jar pick number one. Oh, I don't know if I mentioned I changed these. They used to be colored. Now they're just white because they were on sticky notes and they kept getting stuck. So I changed them all into just white and I got two out by mistake. Here we go. What does that say? S sun or stars on the cover. So sun or stars on the cover. I'll be right back with my pick. Okay, that was much harder than I thought it would be. <laughs> so we're going for this one because it looks like it's got sun on it. It doesn't actually have the sun, but it's got light like the sun. And that, whoops, sorry, that's too close. Booked for Murder. This is by J.C. Eaton. And look, there's the sun. So I'm taking that. It's my game, my rules, okay? <laughs> so that's book one. Okay. That took so long, like it was just a split second view, but it took forever for me. All right. All right. All right. There we go. Here we go. Oh, this one's easy. A mystery thriller. Well, that's easy. I'll be right, actually I've got so many of them right here. I've got my cart right here. I moved it over here. I've got so many for that that I could use because that's my favorite genre, I think. So let's use a Murder, She Wrote book because I have to read some Murder, She Wrote books this month. A lot of them. So let's just pick one. Here we go. This one is Martinez and Mayhem by Jessica Fletcher, a.k.a. Donald Bain. So... That one is on. Um, I should tell you what they're about. What was the other one? Oh, Booked for Murder. I don't even know what this is about. This is a new series. Booked for Murder is a Sophie Kimball mystery. Um, she, Sophie is an account clerk for the police department. There's a book club, and Harriet is convinced that Fee is the only one who could solve a, mur a mystery of a cursed book. And that's her mother, I guess. I don't know anything else. I don't really read backs of books. S synopsis. I'm so sorry for the sound of the washer. I don't know why, but every time I do a video, they're washing, they have their washer on upstairs. It's so noisy in my room. It's ridiculous. But anyways, because the wash is just on the other side of my room in the garage and it's really loud. I apologize. But anyways, 
This one looks good. It's got a cute little dog. That's what drew me into it at first. And I heard from someone on YouTube that it was a good series. So, and then Murder, She Wrote is, of course, Jessica Fletcher. She is a mystery author, and she solves murders. And I'm loving reading them. I'm reading all the Murder, She Wrote I can for a video. So, okay. Oh, You'll probably see a lot of murder she wrote on this TBR. Okay, or MBR, sorry. Then we have books that will make you cry. Ooh, I'm reading one right now that's making me cry. Um, but let's see. Um, I don't know for sure. I think... I think Spice Road, which is by Maya Abraham. It's a fantasy about a girl with a missing brother and she does tea magic. And I just, I read the first couple chapters and it was very emotional. So I'm thinking I would cry with this. So I'm putting this on, Spice Road. Okay. That's three and, oh, sorry, I just got a message. <laughs> Start a series. Oh, well, that's easy. Well, not really. Start a series. I don't really have any that, I mean, <sighs> that book for murder one would have been perfect for it. Oh, hey, I've got one. Murder of a Mail Order, Order Bride. A Love is Murder Mystery by Mimi Granger. This is about a mail order bride. That's all I know, and it's a mystery, a murder mystery, and it sounds so good. It is written, I mean, I got recommended by, by um, I think it was Amy Marie that mentioned that she wanted to read this series, or that she has read this series, I'm not sure, but I want to read it. So that's starting a new series. Perfect. Okay, and five. We'll just do five polls this month, because I've got a lot of murder she wrote books I have to read, so... We're just going to do five polls. A male author. Okay. For this one, I'm going to pick a short book. I believe this is a male. Yes. Or at least, let's see if he is, what his pronoun is. Yes, it says his. So, um, this is The Cat Who Say Books by Suzuki Natsukawa. Natsukawa. Keep pronouncing that wrong. I started this book, I didn't finish it yet. So it's kind of cheating, but I want to read it. So this is about a man who inherits a bookstore and a talking cat comes to him and they talk and apparently they save books. I don't know anything else. It just, I, I've seen it a lot on YouTube and um, it sounds good. So these are the books for my MBR in February. Of course, I will read a lot of Murder, She Wrote books as well, and maybe some more books, but these are the ones that I quite possibly, most likely, will read. I think probably this is a good deal. I think this is ones that I would read. Yeah, I think I could do it. Thank you. <coughs> oh, I'm so sorry. I almost made it through the whole video without coughing. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this short little video. And um, God bless. Have a great day, night, morning, whatever time it is. And uh, thanks for watching. If you like this video, give me a like and subscribe if you haven't, if you want to. And um, yeah, see you in the next video. Bye.